Sabukla music easel is always described as an instrument. Its original conception satisfied a need to interact with electronic sound according to modern music principles developed in the 20th century that abstracted the traditions of rhythm, harmony, and melody. As the electronic music world has changed, so has the music easel. The Electric Music Box I.O. module gives us a set of tools to integrate the easel with the rest of the studio. I'm going to demonstrate some ways of integrating and synchronizing with other devices. This device is the 1010 Music Black Box, which has sampling, sequencing, and the ability to sync devices with MIDI clock. It also has a USB MIDI host, which is going to be important later in this video. You could also substitute a computer, which can do this. There are Akai MPC models that have USB MIDI host, but most other groove boxes all have MIDI in and out, so you can duplicate a lot of the things I'm doing here with those. First, I'll cover the obvious, sequencing the tones on the 208. I'm using the DIN MIDI for this, though you could connect your computer via USB MIDI too. I'm taking advantage of the MBO's mixer to mix the drums out with the rest of the easel's output. Using the black box sequencer, I can create a sequence with its own controls, in this case a touchscreen, then send the notes via MIDI into the 208 MIDI input. This frees up my hands to patch the sound while the notes play. I can also add other instruments too. In this case, I can play a drum sequence with the black box samples. Because the easel is designed with a very broad idea of music, I can decouple the melody from the sequence by turning the keyboard switch off on the oscillators, and then just use this as a rhythm for me to explore in a more easel-like fashion, but all synchronized to the beat that's coming from the black box. So this is one concept of how to sync up your easel with other sounds in your studio. Now I'm going to integrate the MIDI out from the 218 touch controller. Once MIDI out is connected to the black box MIDI in, I can use the touch surface to record a sequence. In this case, you'll probably want to disconnect the patch connections since the 218 is now communicating to the 208 as a MIDI device. If you do leave the banana cables patched, you'll notice that the pitch always has the last voltage from your touch. So this will offset the pitch of the oscillator. This allows you to transpose the sequence that's coming from the device. You also get the touch strip, which is sending CC1, so that's controlling the timbre slider. And like in the previous example, you can effectively turn the notes off and just use the rhythms. This last example offers yet another avenue to syncing up to an external clock. The black box has a MIDI host connection, which allows me to connect to the 218's USB MIDI, which gives me input as well as output to the 218. Of course, a computer and DAW are more than capable of this connection. What this does is allow me to send MIDI clock to the 218, syncing the arpeggiator to the beat. Notice that when I stop the MIDI clock from the device, the arpeggiator reverts back to its internal timing. I can use the latch feature by holding down pads two and three to sustain the pattern and free my hands to do boucle things, but all synced up with the beat. We can even change the note division by patching up, for example, a random to the arpeggiator. These examples are just the tip of the iceberg, but they're all good examples on how to integrate the non-traditional capabilities of the music easel with the rest of your studio or live performance. Okay.